интересно, откроют ли вот этот проход когда-нибудь. Fragment of amber. Во, предметики. Open elixir. С ума сойти можно копаться в этом саду. Мы 
у нас все комнаты доступны по сути кроме пиаджи и тут еще годойская комната так вот тут еще какая-то дверь интересная сейчас посмотрим и нам нужен вашингтон а он здесь Кстати, да. Это вот интересная территория, он тут не был. закрыта в комнату Вашингтона. И тут закрыто. А тут он что-то лежит. Amber Crystals. Не зря, значит, зашел сюда. я уже тусовался the great work of the soul by s madone pure alchemy is a thought an art that is performed on the matter of the soul great alchemists work to transform and perfect the latter by a series of processes known as the great work. There are four phases to attain the ultimate and spiritual fulfillment. <laughs> Thus ends the great work, the incarnation of the purified spirit, the elevation of the soul now become perfect, its resurrection, thanks to the action of the alchemist. Except if the alchemist has bad intentions, then It's called manipulation. The soul broken up must be purified by the alchemist. Nice program. The human soul must descend, be corrupt, in order to become decomposed. It's something like what I felt when I think of what I found out about my mother. The soul must be transformed in order to attain sublimation by the recombination of the alchemist. It's tempting. Very metaphorical, as occult theories go. The human spirit being the prima materia of the alchemist. Вельмера-то нету. В принципе, у него тут ничего и нету в комнате интересного.
pay? A Russian ruble. I wonder what it would be worth today. name tag's fallen off, and his door's ajar. Что-то вот у него не ладится у этого перу, раз он самоубийством решил заняться. Dear Monsieur... All right, I've retrieved everything. Сейчас мы еще тут пособираем все. Так, ну это у нас... Комната Эмили рядом. Leave me, Dorice. I don't feel like talking. Your door was ajar, and well, given the state of your room, I, I was worried. It's none of your business. Very well. I'll leave you then. See you tomorrow, monsieur. Big nigger. Наполеон сейчас с Мортимера можно потусоваться у него. Вроде как тут тоже все обыскано. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Если к Эмили можно через балкон, она сейчас попробую. Это наполеоновская комната. French actor Talma is Nero in Britannicus, the last emperor of the Caesar dynasty. Vercingetorix throws down his arms at the feet of Julius Caesar by Royer, two great army chiefs.
Duke Manuel Godoy. Годой вроде у себя должен быть. И здесь мы первый раз. Поэтому все обыскиваем. Carnalite water. They say that if you drink this, it gives you a real boost. Manuel Godoy, a painting of himself in his room. Now that's not going to help him develop a sense of modesty. Mary Louise of Parma. <laughs> How ironic having a painting of the Queen of Spain in one's room, my Lord Duke. Hey, it looks like someone slipped something in the back here. It's a letter. Let's see what it says. It reeks of perfume, and it's written in Spanish. Godoy, you really are a little devil. So, let's see what it says. То ли жене, то ли чё пишет. It seems that the Queen isn't the only one enjoying the Lord Duke's favors. Mm. If the Queen found out, it would cost him dearly. I'll keep it with me. You never know. Don Quixote. Talking without thinking is like shooting without taking aim. Hmm, I'm going to have to think about that one. Fragment of amber. Отлично. Maria Luisa of Parma. Although not Godoy's true love, the queen is his benefactress according to some people. A Byzant. Devil's thorn. Charles IV of Spain. Now there's no chance of Godoy forgetting who he owes everything to. Интересно, тут ничего не изменилось. Inferno by Dante. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Lovely lectures Mortimer is giving to his guests. Very jolly. Нет, это 
это моя комната. Monsignor, his eminence Cardinal Piaggi. что какая-то территория не открытая. Президент Джордж Вашингтон. И Вашингтона нигде нет. Первый раз мы здесь были, он стоял у окна. Сейчас у нас вот. Разрешили чемоданчик обыскать. My dear George, все закрыто как у параноика. О, ключик всего вот этого багажа и есть Locked. the president's personal reserve of laudanum and judging by the quantity he can't go without it ah There's also a letter. Так, ну здесь вкратце, здесь вкратце о том, что не стоит злоупотреблять ему опиумом, настойкой опия. И вот это доктор пишет Том там, Том там, о, доктор его. Инвентарь отлично. Ну и как мы будем выходить из комнаты? Появится сам Вашингтон и начнется противостояние. Мы попытаемся его убедить встать на сторону холма. As I walked by your room, I, I noticed the door was open. I wanted to check that no one had gone in. Hmm. And what is the outcome of your investigation, Inspector de Richer? Go ahead. Laugh it off. I, I didn't see anyone, Mr. President. Splendid. All is safe and sound. Well, since you're here, can I get you something to drink? No, no thank you, Mr. President. As you wish. Well, Louis, it's getting late, and this is not my first conference, so let's get straight to the point. You are here to motivate me to change sides. I have decided not to follow Mortimer. I noticed. Every man must make his own choice, what can we say? That's the political game. And you did not commit to supporting Mortimer, so there's nothing for you to feel bad about. So what can I do for you? President Washington, I regret that my situation is contrary to yours. 
especially as I really do respect you. Me too, Louis. Let us not mix business and emotion. Understood. I've just come from a meeting with Sir Gregory and his supporters. They are all rallying against Mortimer's project. That is to be expected. Great Britain, the Kingdom of Spain and Sicily, the Kingdom of Prussia, the Holy Empire, the Kingdom of Portugal, of Bohemia, and of Hungary. I know, Louis. I know. The coalition against France also gives me cause for concern. I'm certainly not saying that, on paper, Mortimer's plan seems very viable. Anyway, you haven't really said what you wanted to say. Tell me, Louis, what have you come here to sell me? You should join home. And why would I do that? Ну, личное одолжение в прошлый раз, кстати, было доступно, потому что я помогал ему про матери. Он скажет, что вот, Тимиру в моем помогает, шантажировать не получится. А его союзе против Франции. Вот это я не помню. Попробуем пошатнуть доверие. This type of meeting might be familiar to you, but for me, I must admit, Mr. President, it's haul a bit over my head. It's only natural, Louis. But you are managing rather well for a first-timer. You've chosen the wrong allies, that's all. I hope my mother doesn't hold it against me if I've made a mistake. Anyway, if Lord Mortimer does succeed, it would be no mean feat. Did he tell you what he would gain from it? What do you mean? Well, Mortimer's plan has been meticulously prepared for many years, I imagine. Of that you can be sure. It's only natural, and his plan leaves nothing to chance. No, that's what... He never commits his own fortune, let alone his reputation, since you're the one who takes center stage here. In fact... Whether he wins or loses, everything is arranged so that he comes out of it intact. Yes, I... Ah, uh, you've got to hand it to him, though. He's a master at putting together a plan which puts himself at no risk. That's true. Don't worry, he... you can trust him. Of course. I'll bet he's invested in a river transport company on the Mississippi or somewhere like that. It's true I had never thought about what he might have to gain. Tell me what Sir Gregory has to offer that I don't already have with Lord Mortimer. <laughs> Ну, вот этот войну хочет. А, это будет... Он об этом не знает, Морти мне не сказал, но он говорил Луи об этом. А тот хочет сыграть по плану Мортимера, значит, можно сказать, друзья, он достанется вам. Деньги ему не нужны. При том, что имеете, не канает. В колонии что он их сам не может сделать. Мир тоже не то, не интересует ну, интересов американского народа. Короче, рискуем. Либо это, либо вот это. Мистер Президент, it seems that Lord Mortimer would rather see Louisiana become French and not American. Sir Gregory proposes that Louisiana go to you. What? You would be prepared to hand it over to me? It is certainly a possibility. But for that, you must not side with Mortimer at the conference. I see. Louis, you convinced me. I congratulate you for your performance, because I didn't think it could happen. I merely exposed the facts to you. Don't spoil everything with your false modesty now. You really were very good, and that's that. In any case, I shall follow you on this one. This may well arouse Lord Mortimer's wrath, but I must put the United States before anything else. Have we finished, Louis? Absolutely, Mr. President. I shan't keep you any longer. Allow me to take my leave. Good night, Louis. Get some rest. Tomorrow will be a very big day. Well, that's one thing out of the way. The only thing left to do is wait for the conference to resume tomorrow morning. Вот 
так отлично вышло. Good evening, Monsieur le Francais. Duchess, you're here. What a charming surprise. I'm beginning to think you can't be without me. You have managed to penetrate my armor, sir. Am I disturbing you, perhaps? That's not what I said. Ah, by the way, congratulations on choosing Sir Gregory this evening. You surprised me. I wasn't expecting it. Why, Emily? Can't you read me like an open book? Not as well as you read me, it would seem. I'll teach you if you'd like. There's nothing I'd like more. Tell me, are these visits to Mortimer's always so intense? Yes and no. My sister doesn't normally disappear like she has. Any news of your mother? Still nothing. And you? Any news of your sister? No, but knowing her, I'm persuaded she's on someone's trail. You'll see. She'll surprise us all. If only you knew, Emily. You're right. We must remain positive. I'm sure it won't be long before she turns up. My thoughts too. She is Duchess Hillsborough, after all. And as such, she is capable of anything. I am sure that you'll appreciate her. You'll see. No doubt about that. And it might turn out that you prefer her to me. Who knows? Rest assured, I don't think it's going to happen. I'm sure she's very nice, but there is only one Emily Hillsborough. We shall see. Can we change subject, please? I didn't come here to go through all that again. Of course, it's late. You're right. Короче, пёс его знает. Вроде в прошлый раз так же было. Come, Louis. My friends, do not worry. I assure you that Lord Mortimer's plan will never see the light of day. I shall deal with informing our allies, but for the time being, I need you to make a stand. What do you think about Monsieur de Richet? I don't know yet. I feel there's great potential in him. He looks like he can be trusted. Why isn't he with us? He was opposed to Mortimer. I'll wait and see. I'm still not sure of his position. And uh, Duchess Hillsborough? Oh, why isn't she here? She's busy. Don't worry about her. Oh, isn't it time to replace her? Not so fast, sir. She is an important figure. You ought to have a little more faith in her. What are we going to do about Washington? He will be a hard nut to crack. On our chessboard, he is Mortimer's king. Don't worry. Mr. President only wants one thing, to keep his dear America united. He won't jeopardize everything he has achieved on a whim. He has been serving Mortimer for quite some time. It won't be easy to uh, bring him around. I have asked Monsieur de Richet to approach him. Let us have faith in him. I sense that Mr. Peru is about to surprise us too. Yet he is Mortimer's strong arm in France. He knows his time has come, and I believe he is intelligent enough to realize it means he is no longer any use to Mortimer. Do you feel all right, Mr. Godoy? You haven't said a word. Please excuse me, gentlemen. I feel tired. Oh, I see. I think it is high time you left us then. Now!
так такое ощущение, что он контролирует холм, вот эти его видения. Эмили? Эмили? Are you there? Typical. There she goes again. What's with this habit of hers of taking off in the middle of the night? Sir, the conference is about to begin. You are expected in the conference room. Tell them I'm coming. Thank you. Louis, the game is back on. My friends, the conference is about to begin. And please excuse me if I troubled you last night with my project. I understand that you might well have a few questions to ask. As you know, the final vote will be cast in a few days. This morning's aim is to answer your questions and check the temperature of your respective positions, so that we may reach a greater understanding. As always, Lord Mortimer. Uh, we parted in perfect disagreement, my lord. Where would you like us to take it from? Come, sir. Please let William believe he still has a chance of winning us over. Otherwise, his imprecations will lack panache, and we shall be bored stiff. Oh, let me reassure you, I am convinced that a good night's sleep has brought sound advice and that this morning will be even more interesting. Therefore, I would like to go around the table in order to hear everyone's first impressions. Well, I am still firmly against it. Even though my choice won't count. Against. 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 And you, Luke Manuel? Against, of course. Well, as for me, I am for Lord Mortimer's project. Despite Duchesse Hillsborough's overwhelmingly convincing nocturnal attentions. What? So Emily was playing at trying to win over guests last night? It was nothing more than a friendly little chat, of course. How could it be otherwise? And by the way, remember me to your husband when you see him. And you, President Washington, what is your position? Well, you see, Monsieur Bonaparte, I would rather you'd have forgotten me for a minute. William, I am sorry, but I cannot follow you this time. George? What? I am against William. Please excuse me. I cannot commit the United States to such an enterprise. It's just too risky. Well, that leaves just yourself and Monsieur Peru, Louis. You're all making me sick. Look at yourselves. What? You are pathetic! Have you been drinking or what? There you are, quibbling away. My Lord Duke this, and Madame Duchesse that. You know very well that we're nothing but puppets on a damn string. Jacques, come here. Let's end the charade. It's over. Jacques. My Lord, thank you for everything you've done for me over the years. But it didn't come for free. And now I see the price is too high to pay. I'll stop. Come, Jack, we'll talk it over. No, I'm finished. I want my freedom back, my lord. I shall no longer work for you. Wait! Derise, you just can't help it, can you? Stop trying to play the hero, man! Не помню я про дочь. Jack, don't do it. You're a father. You owe it to- You bastard!
Но это по-любому нужно сделать так, чтобы его спасти. Тут уже не важно. Like he's coming around. You gave us a mighty fright, sir. A veritable force of nature. It's hard to believe, isn't it? Eh, hey, that's a Sarah's boy, all right. Slowly, Louis. Take your time. I, uh, Mr. President, I, I've got, I've got a bet. Careful, you haven't fully recovered. You've had rather a close call, Louis. We are all relieved to see you back with us. My friends, this is a great relief to us all. But please, let Louis recover now. See you later. Get some rest. концовка не нравится Вашингтон Jacques Perru. The only thing I can tell you is that Sarah had indeed changed. In your opinion, why would your mother remain in hiding over several weeks? You must leave me alone now. I have agreed to everything, even to... But you do realize your mother will have to accept the consequences of her acts. I hope that your search will prove successful and bring Sarah back to us soon. I'll be leaving now because whatever it is you're up to, I do not want to know. Since then, we have become one and the same. We have officially erased the identity of my sister Emma. Emily Hillsborough. The woman with two faces. Everyone seems to be a little unnecessarily heated. Don't forget where you are, please. Don't move. Wait, I don't... So you've come at last. Easy. Let me turn around. 
Oh my god, mother, what has happened to you? Who are you? What? But, mother! Who are you? It's me, Louis, your son. No, you lie. You won't catch me out like that. Louis. Louis isn't here. He obeys his mother. He would never have come here. Mother, I don't know what you've been through, but lower your arm, please. You think I was born yesterday, do you? But it won't work. I'm begging you. One day you will fall. Mother! Why are you here? I received a letter from Lord Mortimer inviting That's me That's enough! You want to corrupt us all, one after the other. But you will never get me. You are evil incarnate. Every word that comes out of your mouth is sharper than a razor blade. I don't wish you any harm. Really, Mother. It's me, Louis. Don't speak to me about him. You will never get him. Mother, stop torturing yourself. It really is me, Louis. How can I convince you? If you really are who you say you are, what was the saying I taught you? You've been telling it to me since I was three years old, Mother. How could I ever forget it? Always keep your mind logical and open. You knew it. You are smart. You're getting me muddled up. Tell me, rather. Whose place were we at when I told you I was coming here? Mother, I really am your son. You can't trick me. We were in Paris. We were investigating an art dealer. His name? I just told you, you can't trick me. His name was Von Borschert. My god, everything is lost then. I refuse to believe it's really you, Louis. Otherwise, all this would be for nothing. Mother, I, I don't know what happened to you, but don't worry. Everything's going to be fine. I'm here for you and- No! I ordered you not to come with me. I received a letter and Lord Mortimer informed me of your disappearance, so I took the- No! 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 It's not true. It's a nightmare. Don't tell me that! Have you spoken to him? Oh, shit. She's completely panicked because I spoke to Mortimer. It seems she's afraid of what he might have said to me about her. Did he speak to you? Mother, I don't know what you're imagining, but don't worry. Everything will be all right. If you're worried about what I might think about Elizabeth Adams, honestly... Oh, Louis! Elizabeth is the last of my worries right now. I did what I could for her, but it was too late. Very well. Logical and open, Louis. Since you arrived on the island, has anything strange happened to you? Depends on what you mean by strange. Personally, I think that you being missing for three days, and then me finding you underground, minus a hand, well, that qualifies as strange, don't you think? No, my hand is not important for the moment. If that's the only thing you've found that shocks you, then all is well. Now shut up and listen to me. We might still have a chance. Something of utmost importance is going to play out right here. What are you talking about? A conference, Louis. I should think all Mortimer's guests have arrived by now, haven't they? Yes, they have. Since this morning. Perfect. The conference will be able to begin. You will attend this conference, and you must find out what Mortimer is up to. Don't trust him, Louis. Understood? Right. I'll do what you ask of me. But calm down, please, Mother. Louis, I made a mistake by coming here. We are in the lion's den. Mortimer, Holm, their guests, watch what happens. Do you think it's normal that the representatives of the most powerful nations are here all on their own without anyone else? On an island in the middle of nowhere in total secrecy? No, not really, but- Louis, they shape the world. They manipulate us. Everything is decided here and now. 
They create and break states, provoke wars, destitute governments, or decide who will be their leaders. Open your eyes! Mother, calm yourself, please. Nothing is impossible for them. They are capable of reaching everyone, wherever they may be. Through high society banquets, they model the future of us all, and it isn't at all an issue for them. And? What do you propose? It's time to act, my son. You will go to this conference, and from the inside, you'll do everything you can to prevent Mortimer's plan from going ahead smoothly. We can talk later. I'll explain everything. But why? Do as I say, Louis. It's of the utmost importance. Beware of Mortimer. He won't let anything stand in his way. You promise me that after- Yes, after. Go now. Yes, mother, I'm going, I'm going. One more thing, mother. Emily Hillsborough, Emma's sister, came to this island looking for her sister. She probably won't hesitate to take revenge and... It's the signal that the conference is starting, Louis. Don't be concerned about the Duchess. She's the last of our worries. I have suspected it. 